Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Pinchas. This week's edition is dedicated to Zechad Nishmas, the Ger Tzedek, Yamin Ben Avram, Lawrence Connolly, who was Nifter earlier this week. The Midrash in Pinchas tells us that, to paraphrase, that because Pinchas was a zealot on behalf of Hashem, Pinchas was rewarded with 12 different miracles to occur. We're talking about the situation where the leader of the tribe of Shimon was acting immorally, publicly, uh, with a princess of a non-Jewish country, and Pinchas went and acted on behalf of Hashem. Reb Dov Meir Rubman, who I believe we've quoted previously in his Sefer Zichron Meir, so he was the Rav of Haifa. He was an immigrant from Europe. He lived from 1895 to 1967. And Haifa was in a religious, irreligious city, largely. And this Rav there with the small religious community had to make something to protect Yiddishkeit in, in there. He resisted certain laws, including preventing uh, certain public transportation from occurring in Haifa on Shabbos. Part of his inspiration, and which Reb Rubman believes would be an inspiration for Rabbanim as well as others today in all situations where we have the society that is uh, decreasing in morality, in acting ways that are contrary to Torah, and many, many Jews are getting swallowed up in this wave. How can we respond to that? So most people want to just throw up their hands and say, I'm one person, what can I do? But Pinchas tells us a lesson. Pinchas tells us that even in the challenge against a powerful leader of one of the tribes of Bnei Yisrael, that he had to do something. And it says, what did he do? Vayakam mitoch heida, vayikach romach biado. Pinchas got up in front of the congregation, from the congregation. He was not a leader or anything like that at that point. He wasn't a Kohen yet. And he took a spear in his hand. Question is, the word he took in his hand, he took a spear in his hand, but like, that's not necessary to say in his hand. Where else was he going to take the spear with? But the Pasuk is coming to tell us something. The lesson the Pasuk wants to tell us is that what he was doing was really so little. He could not expect to succeed, but he had to do something. His thought, Pinchas' idea was that I'll start the process, and then I'm going to rely on Hashem to fulfill my mission and help me succeed. And therefore, that's why I said, because of his zealotry on behalf of Hashem, Hashem performed, performed miracles for, for Pinchas. And the lesson for, for us is that people can be uh, too, too modest and think, what can I do on one person? But one person can make such a difference in so many ways. One person can take the initiative, and we have to learn that lesson, uh, not to be afraid of what's going on, but to be out there and take that first step. And Bezos Hashem, we will make progress in whatever our goals are. That should be Litova. But I want to dedicate this to uh, Yamin ben Avram Zechona Lechuracha, um, who is a Shachin Tov, and I got to learn a little bit more about him at a uh, at a, the Levaya, which Rabbi Olbam and three other speakers uh, discussed, and you know the theme was much what I knew, but he and as well as more that was an inspiration to me. And he was a searcher for for truth. He became a, a Ger Tzedek uh, at a relatively young age, probably around thirty or so, and he was uh, from for for close to four decades, perhaps perhaps more, um, and. He continually searched, he asked the questions from the Rav, he wanted to act the exact way that Hashem acted. Obviously, he's human, no one's perfect, but he was always striving to get where he was. And because of him, because of the inspiration from him, at least for today, I was davening better. And this is for someone who's passed away. So hopefully that each of us can take an initiative where we see there's a need to deal with the uh, the spiritual morass in this country and around the world and, and, and take some step to contribute Yehei Zichro Baruch, may be merit for Yamin ben Avraham 
as well as for ourselves. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.